Okay, today on the Home Tip Show, we are going to be doing a installation and review of the Inlight White Opal Glass Gold Aluminum Structure Table Lamp, model number IN-0802-1-GD. Uh, this box looks like it comes with one lamp in it, so we're going to go ahead and and then open the box up. It does appear that maybe Amazon got a little overzealous <laughs> with the package. So hopefully we have, we have no damage, but I haven't opened it yet. So let's give it a try. All right, so first we have, looks like a basic set of instructions here. So we'll open those up. Looks like it came with a little, kind of its own Phillips screwdriver for the, uh, I don't know if you can see here, but it has some um, gold plated, um, uh, gold colored screws and some plastic washers, as well as, I don't know, looks like a church key, but a uh, little, little Phillips, uh, screwdriver here along with the instructions so let's go ahead and uh, get those out usually i i'm not a big reader of the instructions but i do like to give them a quick peruse just to make sure you know i'm not missing some critical piece that's going to require that i take everything back apart later all right so we have our screwdriver Instructions. So let's give these a quick, a quick look. Um, turn off electricity. Wear work gloves. Check, check. Um, so we have the fragile. Um, well, we have what do they call this piece A here? It just shows you a parts list. You got one of these things. You've got two of these rods, or four of these rods, actually. Um, these gold colored rods. You've got um, the very, what they call fragile glass piece. Um, looks like it says it comes with a bulb, so that's always a plus. Um, 10 screws, 10 washers, and, and that's it. This looks like it's gonna be a pretty, a pretty easy installation. So we'll lay those instructions to the side. Remove all of our pieces and place them onto the, um, the bed in the studio here. And then finish unpacking the box and get it out of the way so we can uh, watch how this goes together. So it does appear that two of these legs are longer um, than the other two. So here are the two longer ones and here are the two uh, shorter ones. So that's probably going to be important to remember as we as we put the uh, as we put the lamp together. Now I've noticed a lot of times when um, lamps come in from overseas, they do require you know some Windex or some type of cleaner on them um, because you know they've been sitting in a box with you know, dust and everything and coming from a factory. And so um, we may have to take a quick pause and clean things up. So remember this piece. All right, so here is the fragile glass that that's referring to. And it does appear very fragile, but it's not broken, not chipped. Uh, looks like it's in 
in perfect condition. So that's good. We'll set that a little bit farther back on the bed so it doesn't roll off. All right, we got. Okay, here's our our um, uh, our fixture itself, the main part of the table lamp, um, which has the cord and um, the uh, area where the the uh, the bulb will screw in. Let's get this out of here. I apologize, I'm trying to stay a little bit out of frame today. I um, uh, had a, as a lot of, a lot of, a lot of my viewers know, I was in a car accident a few months ago and I'm dealing with a concussion while well, I had a little bit of dizziness and uh, slipped and uh, fell in the shower <laughs> like an idiot yesterday. Ended up in the emergency room and so I'm, I'm if you hear me uh, moan or, or uh, <laughs> grunt, <laughs> Uh, during the course of this um, uh, review, set up and review, um, you know why, but, I, but I'm not exactly looking my best today. So, um, however, I do now have on order Home Tip Show uh, t-shirts, jackets, and um, what else did I get? Uh, a polo that um, we're, we're going to play around with. I had them uh, embroidered. Uh, from a local embroider shop called Three Sisters. And um, should have the samples back by uh, by Friday. Um, so what is that? What is today? Saturday, July 9th. So um, six days from now. And um, then we'll make a decision on any changes we need to the logo and go from there. Um, haven't decided if I'm going to sell or any merchandise on my channel. Um, if people are interested in it, of course, uh, we, would, we would do that. But uh, these are primarily for me to wear during my reviews so that I'm not having to cover up, you know, logos of other companies and things like that. All right, so we have all of our pieces laid out. It did come with a 750 lumen brightness LED bulb. Um, looks like it's from a company called Anken Lighting. Um, it says it is good for basically equivalent, um, well, it uses nine watts, but 750 lumens. I believe that's about equivalent to a 60 watt bulb. Um, it says based on three hours per day, that's 11 cents um, kilowatt per kilowatt hour. So cost depend on rate. So yearly estimated cost for US is $1.08 based on three hours use a day. Um, the life expectancy, 22.8 years. Wow. And it is a, a very nice, 2700K is usually what I look for when I buy a bulb because it's a, a warm color. It's not that that awful bluish, you know, I don't know for the, the, what they call it, uh, white, white light or sunlight or something like that. Um, it's a, it's a more traditional bulb type color, which I grew up with and I just prefer to use in all my lights. So we'll take this out of the box. Get it ready for use. Okay, so first step is we'll um, un un uh, undo the uh, little, uh, what do you call this thing? The wire. The... Oh, it's qu quite the quite the fancy switch here. Um, and with most of my lights, I, I do either put in a a um, Alexa plug that will power it on and off as I need to, or I'll put in a U light bulb um, that I, well, that allow me to dim it. But in this case, I don't have those handy, so uh, I'm just gonna go with what we got. All right, so. Um, really 
doesn't give you is it offers a one-year warranty from the date of purchase, which covers repairs or replacement of defective parts of the housing, optics, and electronics. And it gives you the customer service, which is at is info at getinlight.com or visit www.getinlight.com. I found that if anything, I've had if of all the products I've had from Inlight, and and by the way, here's loosen this up so you can see but here's the current list of the current uh, stock of products that I have from Inlight that I still need to do evaluations on but of all the products I've received from them um, they I've, I've only received one item that was damaged and that was um, the cover the bottom cover on the ceiling fan and I'm actually not convinced that I didn't damage it myself. So I just called Amazon, ordered another one and shipped this one back. And it, you know, made it super easy. Um, Amazon is their primary distributor at this point, but at some point, um, you know, we may look at other options and other partnerships. Okay, so there's really not, uh, really not good, you know, like, I wouldn't say that these are horrible directions, but um, you kind of have to just kind of figure this out as you go, it looks like, because, I mean, it's a simple, simple picture, but you're going to have to just kind of look at the picture and put it together. Um, so, yeah, so here we go. We'll give it a try. So, first, let's see, I think the first thing we'll do is... Looks like maybe put this guy here. Um, go around the bottom of this, maybe? Uh, no, that's okay. That's where those go. The shorts, the shorties go across from each other, and the long ones go. So the two short ones will go here, and the two long ones will go there. So we'll start with the two shorties, and I'm guessing the um, black little piece here is the bottom piece. So I will go ahead and, yeah, yeah, that's where that's going to go. So my guess is we'll open up our little bag of screws. And put a screw into a washer. I just realized I didn't bring my, I don't have my screw gun handy, which makes life a lot easier than trying to use um, a tool that they provide in the packaging. Um, so, I'm going to get my screw gun and we'll be right back. We're back in the room. We have our um, 20 volt to 18 volt converter on here. Works like a champion. We've got our screw gun and we shall start again. I think we were going with the long ones first, so.
All right, so we've got our four sides on. Um, it looks like next step is the full ring, which looks like it mounts on, is it on the inside. Yeah, looks like it mounts on the inside and it goes right. If you look, there's one, two, three, four holes that are all lined up and basically it's the same the same procedure so we will this actually might even be a little bit easier um, we will line that up put it on the inside of all four put that screw through So we've got one screw in. We'll go ahead and pop in our, our other four. Again, I'm still kind of kind of guessing on how this goes together, but I've done enough lights, believe me, over the years um, as a contractor and electrician um, and handyman, everything else under the sun. Um, but I think. I think I can give it a good guess on how, how it's going to go together. We're going to just tighten that. Tighten that down. Oh, you know what we forgot over here? We forgot the washer. So, put that back on. With the washer. It's easier just to push the screw through and then just line it up with the hole. Um, actually, using this little tool is not bad, to be honest with you. It might even be easier for some people to use a little tool instead of um, like a big old monster thing like that. All right, so washer. Screw. Push it through. Line it up. Get it started. This is where sometimes this comes in handy because it'll kind of force it. Okay. Yeah, that one went in nice and tight. And then the final one. Um, Hopefully, we'll go in easy as well. But usually, you don't want to tighten up your other three screws um, because your last one is not going to line up properly. And so, you need to have a little flexibility. But in this case, it looks like it's lining up perfect. But again, looks can be deceiving. Yep, looks for deceiving. Okay, so we've got our two long sides, two short, two shorties. Um, we've got now the half band, which looks like it goes on the inside at the top on these two here. At least that's what, what, what it looks like, because we've only got, you know, um, basically they give you one extra screw and one extra um, washer so I'll just put those two in and it looks like it goes uh, again on the inside man I like it when I don't have to read instructions I can just look at a picture um, not much of a reader here guys uh, more of a more of a like look at a picture and just do it type person, but and there's that one, and now we'll do the final one, and same thing. 
washer screw, push it through, line it up, uh, see if we can give it a quick turn to get it started, yes we can, uh, run it on in, and then we'll use the little tool they provide to give it the final tightening, which that one was And so was that one. So I'm guessing bulb here and I'm guessing these two guys fold up and go inside here. Now this is where it said you have to be fragile. Or it said you have to be fragile. I can see why. All right, so I don't know that you're going to be able to see this on the camera, but what I'm going to do is put these two tabs inside this, um, bot the bottom of this, this fragile piece of glass. There's one, and there's two. What they're going to do, oh, this one. Okay, missed the two. What they're gonna do is provide pressure to the inside of this fixture to keep it from falling out. And there we go. Back up a little bit so you can see it. There it is. So let's find a spot to plug it in. Maybe I'll over here in this corner where we did this um we did this lamp Okay, so here we go. This is the big unveiling. Um, not sure which way I'm supposed to turn the light, whether uh, the, the, the top metal half round piece is supposed to be at the front or the back. Um, I don't think it matters. Put it at the side and put it wherever you want it, wherever it looks nice. Um, but we'll go ahead and uh, turn on the switch and we'll see how it looks. Wow, it's bright. I think that's that's easily uh, 60 watt, maybe a little bit more. So from a final ratings perspective, this is a very good, solid product. It's going in our great room of our house. Um, so from one to five, with five being the best possible rating, ease of installation, I give it a five. Instructions, I give it a four. Um, the instructions are actually pictures and not and not actually printed. So I did make a mistake and, and didn't put the washers in the right location and had to kind of take it apart later and put those uh, between the pieces of metal instead of behind the screws where I had them before. From a build quality perspective, I get it a 5. Uh, from an appearance perspective, it's, it's beautiful. I give it a 5. Value, from a, it, it's, it's definitely a 5. And from an overall durability, durability perspective, I give it a 4.5. Um... Now in this video, I noticed that the top of the light appears to be a tad, I don't know what the word is, tad dimmer, but it's really, yeah, there we go. Just the lighting a little bit on it. It's not, um, it's a uniform color all the way up and down inside the um, what they refer to as the, um, the fragile glass piece. Um, one of the really nice things about this is, yes, I have it on uh, a switch next to the to the wall as you come in, but they give you this this little hand switch right here. So if you're in bed, 
you know, don't want to get up and just flip it off. So, um, I really think this is a, a nice lamp. Um, it would be at home, really in any room. Um, and so, you know, I'm, I'm giving it uh, two thumbs up here. Um, I'll do a rating uh, at the very end of the video where I talk about durability, ease of insulation, um, looks, uh, etc. But that's it for this edition of the Home Tip Show. Um, this was a paid endorsement, so I was compensated for this review. Uh, in addition, the lighting product was provided to me for free. Uh, so we just need to put that disclaimer out there. This lamp is available on Amazon.com for $89.99. Um, if you enjoyed today's show, you enjoy lighting reviews, um, you're thinking about building or replacing lighting in your house, please subscribe to my channel. Like I said, I have over 30 some lights and 15 different SKUs that, of lighting that I'm going to be installing. Everything from, you know, under cabinet lighting in the bath or in the um, bathroom, in the uh, kitchen to under cabinet lighting in the laundry room um, to, you know, puck lighting um, in various, maybe in the garage underneath some of the cabinets I have there. I have outdoor wall lanterns um, that I'm going to be installing. Um, I have a, a new pendant light for the front porch, uh, which, which I'm going to be installing and uh, doing a review of. Uh, just There's just a lot of product here, and um, like I said, I'm going to try, to try to get through at least one a day. Um, and um, so please subscribe to my channel. You can also help me by donating to my Patreon channel at www.patreon.com forward slash the Home Tips Show.